So this is my first exhibition in Hong Kong in this beautiful gallery and uh, the title of the exhibition is Remains of the Day which is the title of the main or the biggest installation here on the ground floor of White Cube. And basically this installation is made up of household furniture so it's like a domestic interior uh, but it looks like it's been hit by a sudden disaster. All the furniture is charred, it's kind of burned to the bone, if you like. What we've done is we, we covered all the furniture with uh, chicken wire before burning uh, the furniture, and therefore all the remains are actually held in place um, by the chicken wire, and, and wherever um, the form or the, the wood has disappeared, it re retains its uh, former shape. And therefore, they look like ghost images of themselves, if you like, like uh, a skeleton of what used to be there. Remains of the Day actually was inspired by a visit to Hiroshima. Last year, I received the Hiroshima Art Prize. In the context of Hiroshima, of course, um, it's pointing to the big disaster that happened o over 70 years ago, the dropping of the atomic bomb. And that's why I called it Remains of the Day. It's like from one day to another, devastation. Um, and the suddenness of it was something very apparent to me when I went there and looked at things in the museum. And there's something that links all the works on this uh, floor, and it's the fact that they were all made using heat to um, produce the images or to create them. At the top of the stairs, when you go up to the first floor, there's an intimate little gallery where uh, I have two works, and they're both based on using material from the body. Um, the first one is a necklace. It's made of um, nail pairings, and they are strung together with a single human hair. On the opposite wall, there's uh, a work called Hair Grids with Knots. I made a whole series of these works because I like weaving with uh, incongruous materials like hair. And it's a very delicate work. It hangs um, in front of the wall and it sort of moves a little bit with the air currents as you move around. And what is nice about it is that I'm, I'm using a grid, which is a rigid organizing kind of geometric um, a structure if you like but um, the material is very organic and unruly so there's that tension between those two things there which I, I quite like so on the first floor in the main space there are three uh, sculptures and they have something in common formally they are all based on circles and spheres so in there um, there's um, a work called Hotspot Stand uh, and this one is like revisiting um, the same idea of a work I made originally in 2006. So here I'm taking the same theme again if you like but with a smaller globe uh, set on a stand and because it's smaller and has this kind of more intimate um, quality about it you can approach it you can get closer to it and therefore that buzzing sound that comes out of the uh, neon is something you experience a lot more um, in this one because it's less kind of frightening. In there there's also a, a new work which I made in, I'm showing for the first time called Orbital and it's uh, a globe again this time it's made with uh, rebar reinforcement bars uh, which are usually used for concrete. And uh, there are sort of these clumps of uh, rubble, basically, uh, stuck to the bars at various points. And it sort of looks like it's been made out of the remnants of a demolished building, you know. The sort of things I've been looking at a lot is this architecture of ruins, if you like, where you see a, um, demolished building with all these um, um, rebars with bits of concrete stuck on them. But uh, what was surprising is once it was made, once I started working on it, these um, clumps of um, cement and 
aggregate started looking like um, planets orbiting around, I don't know, the sun or something. Um, so there was something kind of celestial about it, something that it took you in a different direction, which I, I liked a lot, and that's why I decided to call it orbital. In the show, I decided to add another earlier work called Turbulence Black, which is made of jet black, um, very shiny marbles of different sizes, four, four different sizes, and they lie on the floor and feel like they're struggling to be contained within this um, geometric shape, which is a circle. I've made a number of works um, based on using marbles sitting on the floor as a way to destabilize the surface that you walk on. I mean, when I'm working on an exhibition, especially trying to create new work, I'm, I'm always thinking in terms of a group of works and I want to create a dialogue between them. And in a sense, there's something pleasing about this exhibition because uh, it's divided into two spaces and in each space there's a dialogue between the works. And um, for me, that sort of functions very well.